is up guys welcome back to another episode of boa i am out here at the campsite today and uh i got me another toy so you've seen the other probably about a week or so ago it might be two weeks now um i did a gun review on my ec9 my little everyday when i'm out hunting or out with my dog i just got stung <laughs> there a minute ago but uh i uh, been working a whole lot, haven't been able to produce a whole lot of videos lately, but I have been saving up for a couple guns. And uh, I got my EC9, I got my little everyday carry pistol, and I ended up going out and picking me up a Anderson AR-15. It is the M15, if I'm not, or the AM-15, I am sorry. It's got a standard collapsible stock on it. It's you know everything's mil spec mil spec trigger on it it's just 16 inch barrel your standard bird cage it's got what is it the m4 foregrip on it it's cheap plastic i mean it is it is an entry level ar and the only reason why i got it is i've heard a bunch i mean you know not a bunch of good reviews on it but i've heard good enough to where if you're looking for an everyday rifle or something that, you know, like me, where I'm out here in the woods and I'm, I don't want to take a, a real expensive rifle out in the woods and get it dirty and down here at the campsite where it's getting leaned up against trees, I'd rather get something that I can, you know, kind of beat up a little bit. So that's why I decided to get this. The gun was only about, give or take, about $500. It's like $489, $500. Um, just everything's just just your basic AR and uh, I ended up getting a cheap scope on it which this thing looks absolutely enormous on this thing I know do not roast me in the comments I already know this thing looks ridiculous it's a 20 power scope by center point um, which the cool thing is is with this thing and I was taking some pictures on it I don't know how well you'll be able to see it I could turn it this way oh yeah you can see it real well and it turns reticle on red standard you got a standard reticle in there and then I can also turn it on green and that was actually actually one of the selling points on this scope I seen uh, I seen sportsman's den sale tag on them they had them starting out it was like 50 bucks 49.99 and I think their most expensive cent center point scope was $70 so I mean it's a relatively cheap scope I talked to the guys they said you know it would handle the AR handle 308 it, it it's it's meant for bigger guns and i already have some other plans that i want to do with this scope but i just thought it'd be a good scope throw on it real quick get it sighted in i could shoot groundhogs and coyotes and whatever else i might need to poke a bullet at so this is my little gun we're going to shoot a little bit i have it sighted in for 100 yards and if I did all my research and everything right, I should be shooting about an inch and a half low at 25 yards. Um, so I've been out here shooting all day, so I just kind of want to show you how it shoots, everything else. So, chamber flag. We are shooting Federal Ammunition, the American Eagle, 55 grain. What is it? Uh, uh, 3,165 feet per second. Got a 20 round magazine to start with. Put in there. Put my ears in. Let's go. Oh, take it off the table. Knock my target over. So I'll have to go set that back up. So let's go while we go set that up. I'm going to pause this for a minute, go set that back up, and I'll bring you out with me and we'll see how I shot. All right, guys. So, what's up? Welcome back. I got my target set back up, to which all these are rude and crude. Uh, down here at the campsite, I have all my targets are set up in the crick line, and uh, we had some real, real bad rains. And, all my targets got washed away so hit me up if you guys might want to send me some uh, 
DYI, do it yourself. If you guys got targets or anything that you want me to shoot, I will bring it out here and tear it up. But uh, so to show you what I was doing, this was my, you know, set this down here. Right here is where I had it sighted in earlier. It's where I started at, at the beginning of the day. I had it sighted in direct on at 25 yards and uh, did some research and I didn't want it to be right on or high at 25. I actually wanted it to be low, like right here. So that's what I did right there, tore it all up down there. It's got a real nice MOA at 25 and 100 yards. I've got to play with it a little bit. Um, tore that target up down there. That's at 50 yards from where I'm sitting. Um, so everything with this rifle so far has been real easy to sight in, especially with that center point scope. Um, my brother has the Ruger, the Ruger 5.56. It's got an 18-inch barrel on it. It's got a real hard concussion. And mine don't have the concussion or the percussion. I forget which one it is. I got into an argument with my dad earlier about it. Um, mine don't have the, the thump in the chest like my brother's does. But mine kicks like a mule for some reason. Like, I normally don't get red marks on my shoulder, and I've probably shot 100, about 100 rounds today, give or take. And, yeah, it's my, my arm normally don't get red like that from shooting, especially his. It don't kick like that. It's just real loud. But mine kind of, it, it's got a little thump to it. Hey, it's not bad. It's very manageable. But, uh. Let me get up here. I'm going to shoot a couple standing up just to show you what the recoil is like. Let me get my ears in. Set the foam back down. Ah. See how well can you see me from right there? Probably not real well. But I'm going high. so far i've got to play with this gun quite a bit and i absolutely love it it comes with a 30 round magazine in the box that's all it comes with and i lose everything <laughs> oh i'm putting that in i ain't gonna edit that out that was my little diy uh <laughs> phone stand I'm trying to record from but uh let me pause this real quick I'll get everything set back up all right guys sorry about the tumble there uh, that's my life out here so uh to keep going where I was going so for I mean the money that I have invested into this gun to be able to come out get it zeroed in at a hundred yards and effectively shooting as quickly as I did personally let's see how the future months holds up with it I do plan on shooting it quite a bit getting it broke in it was brand new so I mean everything's just well, here let me show you real quick everything all right so sorry about that guys I am back uh, had a little technical difficulty there for a second um, so this gun has performed exceptionally well for about the 150 200 rounds that i've put through it um i don't think i haven't put quite 200 rounds through it so i was able to get it sighted in fairly easy the center point scope made it actually really really easy it's been really really for how cheap it is i didn't expect it to perform the way that it does and to have the light up reticle and everything inside of it has been exceptionally awesome Everything on this gun is just your run of the mill every day, every damn near every AR that you come across. It's just, it's cheap. It's, it's exactly what it is. It's a very entry level gun. You can do a bunch of upgrades to it, and it's not that expensive through Anderson Firearms. Um, I'm actually planning on getting a 20 inch barrel for, uh, for it, but kind of to show you, you know breakdown or the field strips pretty easy just your one pull or your one pin there pull that out there's your bolt pull that out there's your charging handle I mean everything is just back get it back in the hell there we go 
<laughs> you want to be a bitch today. There you go. Put that back together. Push your pin back through. Easy tear down, easy clean. It's actually been a really nice gun so far. I enjoy shooting it. I'm going to change the barrel, put a little muzzle brake on it, kind of make it look nice. Uh, I'm going to put a free floating uh, foregrip on it. I do have some upgrades that I want to do, but this thing has performed exceptionally well. I got bugs all over me, got stung. <laughs> it's been a hell of a day out here. But yeah, that is my little synopsis, my little review, my little whatever you want to call it on the Anderson uh, AM-15, AR-15 variant. It's been a very lovely gun to be able to have in my possession for the 24 hours that I've owned it so far. Yeah, it's crazy. Had it 24 hours. I thought I was going to shoot it a bit longer than I did, but I, nope. I wanted to shoot it a bit longer, kind of run it through its paces like I did with uh, my pistol, shoot it quite a bit, make sure it was nice and broken. in. But I played with it a little bit last night, did a mag dump, came out here today, finished tweaking it a little bit, and I felt like I should be able to do a review on it, be quite confident that this would be a very reliable gun for anybody that's wanting to get into shooting an AR or wants to use an AR for hunting, practical purposes, home defense, this would be a very cost-effective way to get what you want without half the break in the bank. So, said I think I paid about 560 for the scope and the gun together, so it's not too bad. It's very, very manageable. So, uh, that's gonna be it for, or, uh, that's gonna be it for me today, guys. I'm gonna probably shoot a little bit more but I might just hang out, enjoy the nice weather that I have out here. So I'll see y'all later. Till next time. Love y'all. Bye.